This is Anime's Daily and Serial Killers 2, man. Hey, we got some lovely ladies on here. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Let them know where they can find you at, man. Hey, my Instagram is underrated Asia. Don't forget the dot or the one. TikTok is high dot Asia. Well, high off. Miss New Paradise Naturals herself at Miss New Paradise Naturals on Instagram, Miss Rika Havana. Hi guys, I'm Chima. Follow me on TikTok at Chima underscore artist. Hey y'all, I am Crystal and my TikTok is Chris Eats and uh, Crystal Elise on TikTok and IG is Chris Eats. What's up y'all? I'm Kiara, also known as Kiara XOX. You can find me on YouTube, Kiara XOX, TikTok.KiaraXOX, and IG underscore underscore Kiara. Hey, we got any volunteers? Okay, what? Okay. Kiara, she don't <laughs> never do a fit check. What? <laughs> this one, okay. <laughs> she ain't shy, okay? She ain't shy. I'm we trying to have a conversation, oh my goodness. Okay, okay. <laughs> Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for another installment of anime's deadliest serial killers. And today we dive into the case of the most notorious oh, serial Kiera. killer in <laughs> anime history. And that is no more than Kira, yeah. AKA like Light Center. Yagami. And my God, was all the <laughs> evidence in the amount of victims this man racked up. This case is going to be a beefy one. So let's stop wasting time. So without further ado, it's time to dive in to the Kira case. Okay. Light Yagami, one of the most diabolical does he to look ever crazy. exist. A man with a kill count that ranges in the six figures and had a whole cult praising this guy, thinking that he's the Messiah. I need somebody to help me glorify God. Oh, oh hell. Amen. Oh, 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 <laughs> but you have to wonder how the actual f did this generic. It's a background character Generic. with a toothpick yeah. built nigga become one of the most yeah. notorious mass murderers in fiction. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is why we are here. So first off, we need to know what the hell the weapon was to commit all these homicides. Thanks. And that, of course, is the okay. death note. Now, I'm pretty sure well, everybody it? knows how this a thing book. works. But if you forgot, here's a quick refresher. The human whose name is written in this note shall die. The note will not what? take effect unless the writer has Bruh. the person's face in their mind when writing his or her name. Therefore, people sharing the same name will not be affected. If the cause of okay. death is written within 40 hey, seconds better, of writing the person's change name, our name, it will happen. And finally, oh, after writing the cause of death, details of the death should be written in the next 6 minutes and 40 seconds. Now, with yes. all that explained, we can now move into the first major incident. And that is, of course, the first confirmed 52 victims. Now, when okay. Light first found the death note, when it conveniently dropped right in front of him, he thought to himself, man, this is some Ooh, bullshit. What is this, a sick <laughs> joke? Who the hell would believe this? Uh, the but amount of times I've seen death note everywhere and I never George know what it was. To take the book. So later on, when Light got home, Bro was a little bored. So he ended up thinking in his head, mm, I mean, it shit. doesn't hurt to try it out, right? Massive thoughts took over. So he ended up turning on the news and hearing, Breaking news! A local crackhead is holding eight children what? hostage. Not again. So Light That's said, so creepy. let's write this guy's name down. I mean, he's a criminal after all. So 40 seconds later, the news comes back on and says, Breaking news! The children have been set free and the assailant just f***ed over and died. As they should. What is man oh, like? Was shook. He was like, no, 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 How did he no, die? No, That's no, what I'm no. trying to see. It, it was just coincidence, right? <laughs> No, no fucking way, right? But it was no coincidence. This local crackhead was the first victim of Light. But Light needed mm. more proof because he thought it just had to be a random coincidence that bro had a heart attack when he wrote his name down. Oh. So later on Ooh, that same oh, night, wrote his while name. Light is walking oh. back from cram school, he ends up seeing this lady walking, and these bikers come up and start to harass her. So oh. I'm going to the master right Not here and say, the hey there, pretty lady. <laughs> How about you come fuck with a real nigga and come in? Oh, <laughs> For me. Oh, no. <laughs> so these freaky up, ass man. niggas the need to redo of him and Shorty <laughs> in the parking lot. But Light was in the convenience store I watching the whole thing I like, know. not on my watch, you 69 gods. So he wrote Bro's name <laughs> down and made the cause be of accidental death. And the rest was oh, his wow. story. Old girl breaks away while ugly bastard <laughs> tries to track her down. Watch your camera, watch your camera. Oh, God.
and just like that, light caught another body, and this man was stunned. <laughs> he was like, no, 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 no fucking way. <laughs> I, I, I just summoned Trapoon. That means I must be a fucking god. And at this point, Ooh. Light's oh, hey. complex was born. Ooh. This man went back to the crib. Locked this is some dark shit, bro. This is what I'm here said, for. I'm about to <laughs> this water, it's God, bitch. So this man looked up a list of criminals and just started getting active. This nigga started writing so fast, he looked like he had an essay due the next day. And he just started writing. Yeah, he put everybody in the book, ain't he? Oh, hell crazy nah. in his head. Yeah. yeah, that ugly bastard that was talking to that little girl the other day. Enjoy being unemployed with Dr. Disrespect. Oh, oh not Dr. Disrespect. This man went through the whole <laughs> night just <laughs> writing <laughs> on pages. I mean, Until two whole pages were full. And look at this man breathing hard as hell, looking like he just ran a 5K. <laughs> and just off of that one night. This man killed 52 criminals. Now, here's the wild part. Dang. That was just criminals well, that died I mean, of heart attacks. That's a lot. Because when Interpol got this information, they was like, there could be some people that were unaccounted for. So that death toll could have easily been over 100. So after hmm. Light oh. ranked up all of his first victims, the name Kira started spreading like wildfire because Light was constantly oh, dropping off yeah. niggas. Every single day, Bro, he was killing the multiple police, criminals, you got and him. people all around the world was supporting <laughs> this man. They had Reddit yeah. threads and Discord servers just glazing this nigga, and this just amped up his god complex even more. Bro, just looking at this Light. Yeah, I that was like, right. <laughs> glaze me, nigga. Polish this willy. And of course, now he got Polish this A1 willy. instigating Polish. Shinigami Ryuk attached to Wait, his hip the Wait, whose willy's now. getting polished? Even though Light was killing only criminals, <laughs> at the end of the day, it was still murder. And this is when this man fell for a trap. Now, this is the moment Lock where you just think to yourself, what if Light never made this crucial mistake? And that mistake was right. killing Linda L. Taylor on live TV. So a worldwide Ooh, public there. service announcement mm -hmm. comes on TV. And this man announces himself as L. But obviously, this ain't L. But Light didn't know. So Linda L. Taylor starts speaking and saying, Good afternoon, me. world. My name is Linda L. Taylor. Kira, if he you're like watching the... this, we have a message for you. You are evil and you are just a mindless serial killer. He's the and death I'm gonna note? bring your punk ass to justice. Oh, my so while Light is watching this, here oh, comes this instigating ass here. nigga. Ooh, Light, I'm not gonna lie, that nigga pressing your shit right now. <laughs> so what the fuck you gonna do about it? Huh? <laughs> so here comes this man, Light, his ego is challenged. You think I'm fucking evil? Quit all that fucking yapping, nigga. I am God. Oh. And you can suck my divine dick six oh. feet under. <laughs> So Light ah! got to work quick. Somebody he wrote his oh, name down in a heartbeat. Oh, and after he finished, he was like, yeah, help. that's right. I'll show you. I need to feel the book. If you defy me. In there. So 40 seconds later, and Lind L. Taylor has a heart attack, croaks over, and dies. Mm. And here go Light thinking uh, he got it in the bag. Uh, What's wrong? Uh, crazy with that. Uh, he like a stink man 2.0. What the fuck, Huh? Wow. Here, I can't believe it. You was one dumbass nigga. You really think I get my introverted ass on TV and f***ing press you like this? You one stupid ass nigga. And now I know all your shit. The dude you just killed? Damn, he was the best social nigga anyway, so he could go f*** off. Also, what? this is not a worldwide broadcast. We don't I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm I'm done. 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 I'm Try to kill me. He you know what I'm waiting for you right here. Don't be sure. Bitch, show me you got some balls. Don't be a bitch. Give me the name in her face. Fuck. 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 <laughs> he got your ass. Could it be me, though? You're a notice. I'm a mama. I'm a mama. No way, bro. Ain't no way. So after this man L played the light like a fool and pressed the living hell out of him, the investigation on Kira went into full effect. So this is where we move on to our next set of evidence and next set of victims. And our okay. first key victim is Ray Pinber. Now, Ray Pinber was a FBI oh. agent. Yeah, this case got so oh, big no. that this man L ended up getting help from the FBI to come solve this case. Because that's how mm. horrendous this shit got. Because light was murdering like 23 niggas a day at this point. He was dropping at least one Whoa, buddy was wild. The whole time. 
So Elle suspected that whoever Kira was had to have ties to the police. Because how the hell it was this Kira? Person you were right. Information on these criminals. And what do you know? Black's dad right. is the police chief. So Elle basically made every single person that had ties to the police be kept under surveillance by the FBI. And Ray Pimper's okay. job was to survey Light. And obviously Light didn't need this type of heat. So Light decided, I'm gonna have to put this man in a coffin. So Light came hmm. up with this devious ass plan. And that was the best jacking incident. So for this, Light needed a guinea pig. So he found another guinea. local crackhead on the most wanted list. Kichiro Otsuruda. I'm not gonna lie, I just oh. butchered that man's name. So the second part of his plan, he needed a shorty. So this man dialed up one of his shorties on his roster. Oh my God, said, this dude is premeditating. Hello? I'm over here stroking my dick. I got lotion on my dick. Ah! I'm stroking my dick. Okay. I'm on oh my God. I'm a freak, man. Like a freak. I'm you a freaky ass nigga. So the next day. Light ends up meeting the girl to go on their date to Disneyland. And of course, Ray Pember is right behind them, following them, all according to Light's plan. So they end up getting on the bus, and Ray Pember sits right behind them. So okay. about a good 15 minutes later, they stop at the next bus stop, and the local crackhead gets on the bus. <laughs> and this man wasted no time. Oh my time. God. Right here, the bus. Bus. Everybody, sit down and do your best Rosa Parks impersonation. <laughs> 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 Oh, but, but, but sir, please. I ain't playing with you. <laughs> so this man called up Disneyland and said, "A crackhead with a gun. Cash you made to kill. And make sure the nigga that I'm bringing up is on a Minnie Mouse costume. Yeah. Sir, we're able to fly with the Minnie Mouse costume. It's a crackhead. Nigga, the fuck else you expect? So while this lunatic <laughs> is high out of his mind and going wild, this man Ray Pimber leans over and says, "All right, y'all. Like you said, stay calm and do your best Rosa Parks impersonation. My name is Ray Pimber." FBI. So when this man Light looked at this man's ID, bro just smirked and thought in his head, <laughs> stupid ass nigga. All according to your name. So Light digs in his pocket and drops a piece of paper on the floor. So the crackhead is like, the fuck you moving for you little shit? Do you, do you want me to blow your brains out, nigga? But Light meant to drop that paper because that was a piece of the death note. So old boy turns around oh, and starts tweaking. Oh, he ends up seeing Ryuk behind him. Oh. So bro just starts emptying the oh, no. to shoot this man Ryuk. But obviously it ain't working. So bro ran up to the bus hey. driver and said, I don't know. Bro, I would've jumped off the bus. bus. <laughs> so the bus driver stops, oh, runs out oh, into the street, oh, and Cartoon comes flying oh, down the street oh, and splatters this oh, nigga's guts no. like the Nickelodeon. No. And of course, Ooh. of course, Light is sitting on this bus with no emotion, looks at his watch, and said, 11.45 on the dot, right on schedule. Light staged wow. this entire bus no. jacking. Because using the death note, he made this man board the bus, attempt what? to hijack it, then jump out and get hit by a car due to accidental death. And then at mm. the end of this, Ray Pember thinks nothing well, suspicious of this man. Because he thought, huh, I mean, it couldn't be Kara. Because he would have just offed him when he got on the bus. So now this man does not suspect Light. And Light has his oh. name. So after Light boomed the second local crackhead, it was time to move into phase three of his plan. So about a week later <laughs> at a subway station, he ends up seeing Ray Pember walking. So Light puts on his hood looking like he about to hit a lick. So he gets behind him and says, Ray Pember, don't move a fucking muscle or I'll drop your ass right here. So Light tells this man that he's Kira. And to prove it, he said, look over there. You see that nigga with them glasses on? I'm gonna drop that nigga right now. And bro right here starts having a heart attack and dies. Bro straight up off this man in the public eye. And then Light told him, don't worry, you shouldn't feel bad for him. He was a registered sex offender and a pedophile. Oh. Caught him talking to three little boys the other day. So Light gives him an earpiece well, and tells him to board a train. Well. So later on when he boards the train, Light tells him to open the envelope. And he sees all these papers. So Light says in his ear, I want you to write your boss's name in every single FBI agent that came here in Japan. Do it, I'ma drop your ass and your bitch right the fuck now. So Ray Pember writes wow. down all the names. So after this, Damn. Light told him, wait 30 minutes. I will be like hell, okay. So 30 <laughs> minutes pass. Thanks. Ray Pember gets off the train and it happens. <laughs> And right before the lights went out, this man looked up and saw who Kira was the whole time and thought before he died, you've got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs>
Damn. Oh, the lights went out for Ray Pember. So did the Could've rest got of his the ass on that bus. Because the sheet that Ray <laughs> Pember wrote those names on were Death Note sheets. So the other 11 agents that were in Japan and his boss shortly died right after Ray. And just Damn. like that, Light uh. Yagami did the unthinkable. This man bitched the FBI. Because the director of the FBI calls L and tells him, Mr. L, um, I'm sorry, but America's going to have to pull out of this one. This shit's getting out of hand. Now, it seems that Light is ready to make his victory uh -huh. lap, but there was one problem. There was a loose end, and that loose end was Ray Pember's fiance, a former FBI agent. So she did some snooping no. around and quickly figured out whoever mm. Kira was had to be on that bus. Also, she ended up figuring out that he can kill in other ways besides a heart attack. So a couple days later, she goes to the police station because she's basically figured out this entire thing. All she needs to know was who was on the bus. Oh. So when she goes <laughs> to the police station and asks to speak to Light's dad, who was over the case, just by coincidence, Light walks in and overhears her talking about it. So Light was like, who the hell is this bitch? So he walks up to her and tells her, Hi, excuse me, ma'am. My name is Light. Pleasure to meet you. He said, my dad is the chief of the police force, so I can help you out real quick. You know what I'm saying? So they end up walking outside Your dad and they is start the chief. chatting it up. <laughs> so the first thing Light asks is, uh, Miss Beautiful Miss, um, can I have your name? So she says, um, yeah. my name's Shoko Maki. So Light already has the name. Right. So now his plan was to just talk her up, figure out what she knows, and if she knew too much, he was going to offer. Why so they she kept on name? talking. And she just That's not her name. Right. But everything she said was right. And the real stinger was, she said that, um, yeah, um, so my fiance said that he showed somebody his ID and he wasn't supposed to so whoever he showed his id to yeah um that's most out. definitely Kara. oh my god so light was like shit she knows way too much she got to die oh shit because if they pull up them bus cameras lights cooked so here go this sinister ass nigga so bro starts asking <laughs> her questions but in reality he's writing down her name so light thinks he's got her but a couple of more seconds pass and she's still alive so Light ends up figuring out because Ryuk's ass was laughing at him the whole time that she used the alias. So that was not her real name. So Light is starting oh, to panic. It is do or die right now. Because if she gets back to the police station, he's done. So he pulled this last trick out of his ass and told her, well, you see, ma'am, um, it's going to be actually impossible for you to go back to the police station because they're very busy right now. But it's okay, though, because I'm on the Kira task force. Oh, my gosh, really? Yeah, I have connections to L2. So this Pinocchio yeah, he's lying. ass nigga basically <laughs> baited her and told her, you know what, ma'am, you are really smart. You should join Lock the task force with us. All you mm -hmm. gotta do is show me your ID so I can check your credentials. So obviously, oh, she, she, she she do it. Her ID. When she she wants to bring her fiance to killer to justice. <laughs> so she whips out her ID and it's over. Light saw oh. her real name. Oh, oh, to make the Cosby of unaliving herself. Oh, you so right bitch. before tragedy was you about to start, she asked that? this man. Um, why do you keep on looking at your watch? Oh, because I'm Kira. Duh, stupid bitch. Oh, oh and it was over. She ended oh, up walking damn. away, and she's going to underlive herself in GTA. And while she's walking away, mm. this sick nigga is just talking and saying, Oh, ma'am, um, what's wrong? D you still need to use my phone, right? I thought we were going to catch Kira. Whoa. And what makes this even more tragic, they never wow. found her body. We don't know what the hell happened to her. All we know is well, that damn. she underlived herself. And with that, the bus jacket yeah. incident comes to a close. Mm. Alrighty, chop, chop, moving on. We got more people dying. Flip the board for our next Whoa. seven minutes. Now, obviously, we know Light's biggest opposition is L. One of the smartest characters in fiction. This nigga's anime Sherlock Holmes. And this man was on Light's ass 24-7. Because he always oh, had a hunch that Light was Kira. I mean, he literally walked up to bro and said, Hey, man, uh, my name's L. And I think there's a 5% chance that you're Kira. What? Why is I so I, big? I'm not sure all the way, but like, it's like a 5% chance. He had this man the Kira task force. He, he, he probably drank nothing but Camera set up in his room, <laughs> watching him 24-7. So you know damn well that he was watching him yanking his shit. 
What? Hell no. Nah. 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 You think Light was cracking Misa? <laughs> Fuck no, he hated this bitch. Speaking of that, let me go ahead and introduce the accomplice. The second Kira, Misa. Absolute brain dead. This girl suffers from brain dead. <laughs> And she's just <laughs> deeply in love with this nigga. And the reason why is because her parents were murdered. And lo and behold, guess who brought justice to the murderer? Um, yeah, um, off that nigga. Right. And how she got a death note is even crazier. One night she was walking home and she got approached by some crazy ass stalker nigga. And he was ready to kill her. <laughs> So a <laughs> shitty gami named Jealous that was weirdly in love with her decided to save her life and kill the stalker at the cost of his life. So Rim decided, uh, I might as well give her the death note. He would have wanted it this way. And Tada, Miss Brain Rot, became the second hero. So Light decided to use her because she had the Shinigami eyes and she could see any person's name just by looking at them. What? But at the cost of a wow. your lifespan, though. But Light knew he needed her to dep in his bag so he could kill people 10 times easier. So he made her pose as his girlfriend. So time passes, and one day, Elle ends up capturing Misa, suspecting her of being the second Kira, because they raided her apartment and just found a bunch of shit. So she got put in confinement. So Light said, fuck it, it's time to activate my master plan. So he covered her sure Misa did not confess. He had Rim make her relinquish ownership of the death note so it would wipe all of her memories of it. Then had Rim and Ryuk swap notebooks. And in the notebook, he wrote down two BS rules that basically said, if the person that is using the notebook hasn't wrote down a name in 13 days, they die. And if you destroy the what? notebook, all the humans that have used it will die. So he told Rim, what? don't give this notebook Ew. to a greedy, power-hungry bastard and let them become Kira, while I give myself up to L, relinquish ownership of the death note and go into solitary confinement for a total mm. of 50 Days. days and that's what light did. Come here. Yeah. day seven of his confinement light oh, gave up his awesome. ownership of the death note and lost all of his memories of it to take all suspicion off of him and on day 15 all right we almost done we almost done here i'm here i had told you to pause because somebody was trying to come in here somebody was trying to come in yeah all right okay you just gotta fix your camera back. You saw a wave. Tell me if it flips. All right, there you go. There you go. Y'all okay. doing great. Y'all doing great. We almost done. We almost done. All right. That basically said, if the person that is using the notebook hasn't wrote down a name in 13 days, they die. And if you destroy the notebook, all the humans that have used it will die. Oh, so you so have to, like... Rim, go give this notebook to a greedy, power-hungry bastard and let them become Kira. While I give myself up to L, relinquish ownership of the death note and go okay. into solitary confinement for a total of 50 days and that's what light did because on day seven of his confinement wow. light gave up his ownership of the death note and lost all of his memories of it to take all suspicion off of him and on day 15 what? the murder started back up again and the person murdering these people was mr kiyosuke higuchi of the yotsuba group so him and this group decided to kill other businessmen to further the growth of their company. These niggas was Disney <laughs> just building a bigger monopoly, but they downfall was they had some rats. And that was these two right here, cause they basically okay. sold out and was talking to L the whole time. So over time after Light and Misa was released from like confinement that. and L and Light, the two smartest niggas on the earth Thank working you. on the case simultaneously, ended up figuring out Wire. that it was Higuchi. So one night they end up baiting him out with a fake broadcast saying that they're about to reveal who Kira is. So later on, while this man is speeding down the road, he ends up getting stopped by a cop. So the cop do his thing. He like, license and registration, please. So Higuchi's like, all right, all right, all right. But this man was not reaching for the license. He was reaching for the death note. And he made the Shinigami ideal so he could see the officer's name. So he wrote bro's name down, but then just hit the gas and took off. So this man starts saying, oh, oh wow. Man. Speed chase. We also. This cop. And about five seconds later, the cop ends up having a heart attack oh. and crashes into the back of a truck. Wow. Another victim by oh, truck. Oh, damn. damn. This nigga's on a tear. So that man L said, all units, arrest this nigga. And I kid you not, this shit went from death note to Tokyo Drift. 
So this man had the whole task force chasing him, L Light and Watery in the chopper, and they was not playing games. They said this shit ends tonight. So while this man Higuchi is speeding on the road, this man runs into a police blockade. So he ends up getting cornered and he is trapped. So he tries to drive the other way, but FaZe Watery is up here on the helicopter and says, not on my watch, fuck boy. And shoots his toy around, <laughs> makes him spin it, <laughs> and he crashes into a wall. Watch. And it was over for Higuchi. They surrounded that man. So they cuff him, pin him down, and they start interrogating him. Now here is where the way this in my master <laughs> manipulator plan comes full circle. So while they're interrogating him, Higuchi tells him that there is a notebook that allows him to do all of his killings. So Light Dad goes in and searches the car, and he finds the death note. So when he touches it and starts oh, looking, are you opening it? it? In the room and freaks the fuck out. So then the other detective comes over and he says, "Chief, are you alright? The fuck you screaming for?" Oh, shit. Uh -oh. So that man L says, "Bring the notebook over to the helicopter." So L gets the notebook and just starts staring into nothingness, just going into a deep thought. But he ended up realizing there has to be more than one notebook because there were two cameras. And while that was happening, Light was like, "Let me see it." And Light grabbed the notebook and started tweaking. Bro, looked like he entered the Avatar state. Every what? single memory oh came back into this man's head. So L was like, oh, "What?" Bro, are you good? And Light was like, he oh, grabbed yeah, yeah, it. Perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. It swaps over to his face and it's over. This nigga just thinking, no. yes, yes, I no, lost no, no. it. All according to plan. So this man pulls out a piece of paper that he had in his watch, plugs himself <laughs> and makes him bleed, and writes down Higuchi's name with his blood. And three seconds later, while they're taking him back to the car what to arrest the? him, Higuchi has a heart attack falls to his <laughs> knees and dies oh looking my. at this man's face bro it is all over it was just about to get worse from here so they get back to oh, man. and they start looking over the death note and they find those fake bogus rules that light made and that fake 13 days rule basically cleared him and misa's name so they were off the hook so this is when light's mass manipulation went overboard he made misa go find the other death note gain all of her memories back then left a note saying yeah you remember that guy l find his real name and kill him so she makes oh a goodness. shinigami idea oh, again cutting her lifespan in half what? again and he what? makes her start killing people again and this is where rim ended up realizing Ooh, what life's cool plan was He's and that so was damn to put suspicion back on misa <laughs> so that rim would have to intervene and kill l to protect misa because Rim deeply cared about Misa. So it was pretty much wraps from here. The power goes out and she didn't already kill Watery. This old mm. man fighting for his life. So he ends up deleting all the data. And then a few seconds later, it happens. L has a heart attack, oh, falls no, on the before yeah. he dies. The dead. last thing that he sees is this evil, dick-headed ass smirk just to rub it in at the last second. And the lights went out. L was dead. Now here comes the attitude. Oh, the Look at this fucker. He's like, oh, no, it was the Shinigami guys. You, you know, y'all, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I really do hate this nigga. But I have to admit, game is game. This man is the best mass manipulator right beside this bastard. So then later he ends up finding Rim's pile of ashes because she died because she was saving Misa and like just casually takes his death note back. So after this, Light was about to go on another mass murder requiem. This man Get stands at down. the top of right. the building, pulls out his pen, and just started going Play. on page. These two people that were on the task force that were basically convicts, yeah, it was wraps for them. Bootleg Nina Williams, she's out here riding her oh. motorcycle. She has a heart attack, crashes the motorcycle, and dies. And this oh, next one was damn. straight from Black this dude right, right here, Iber, his wife and kid walks in the room, and the kid's like, Daddy! Just to see his dad's corpse fall oh. on the ground. Oh, no. Oh, man, and y'all remember the Dixuba group? They thought they were scot-free. Rinji gets up and tells Suguru that we did it, man. This is a new start for Yotsuba. Yeah, man, our stock is about to roar. Just for this man to fall over, cut up blood, <laughs> and oh boy, right here. Oh my gosh. He had no a thing. Every single member of the Yotsuba Nobody. group died. But no, didn't stop there. Now, I have a theory. 
because they didn't confirm this, but I honestly hey, killing everybody this is right While he's on this killing montage, it shows all the past news reporters that have reported on this man. Now you see this woman right here. Keep this on this board where it shows a bunch of criminals being wiped out. She is on. I mean, it's like Squid Games. Right, and her yeah. picture goes out. So that tells me this nigga killed all of the news reporters that said some shit about him. I'm mm. sick. Oh. I'm absolutely oh, wow. fucking sick. Mm. Nigga said fucking hey, press. Y'all can suck my dick, TMZ. And after this, <laughs> it just got worse. Over the next five years, Light's killings increased tenfold because there was nobody that could stop him. So this is a time where this man had to have dropped off at least a hundred thousand plus. But I can't blame the old nigga because Light's reign of terror just got worse and worse and worse. <laughs> I mean, the nigga can control Trump on command. And the most chilling thing this man ever did was go to L's grave and just start derangingly laughing his ass off. Look at this nigga. He has his ass up. He's twerking at his grave. Okay, enemy. Yeah. I mean, look at that. This nigga likes it. Enemy is toxic. And with Light's victory, we now move into our final set of evidence. Okay. Now, at this point in time, Light is taking the mantle of L. Yes, Light just didn't kill L. He took his whole flow, his whole name, and L's successors, <laughs> Mir and Mello, are now on his ass. That's so so Mello and the Mafia decided to kidnap the director flow. of the MPA so they could trade him for the Death Note. So guess what Light did? Ding, 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 you probably guessed it. Light kills the director of the MPA <laughs> so the Mafia will lose their leverage. But guess what? That's just the start of this last little list that I have. So you want to hear some more terrible shit? I got you. So since Light killed yeah. the director, Director of the MPA, Mello and the Mafia decided, let's kidnap this, this man's sister so chocolate. they can get more leverage. So after this whole trade went down and they got back his sister, she was so traumatized by this experience, her mind was broken. She was so fucked up, she couldn't even talk. Had her in a wheelchair and everything at Arkham Asylum. Damn. His sister was no, sadly a victim asylum. of his actions. But guess who also was a victim of his actions? His daddy. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. This man used his dad as yes. a pawn. So to give back that death note, Light decided to relinquish his and made Misa send a message that said, Kira will be relinquishing his death note to somebody in the task force. And guess who took ownership of that death note and made the Ooh. Shinigami ideal? His daddy. So later his on, daddy. they end up raiding Mello's hideout. And at the end That's of the raid, happy. Light tells his dad to confront Mello. So while Light's dad is confronting Mello, Light's dad was hesitant about writing his name down and killing him. So one of the dudes that was left alive shoots his dad in the back. Oh my God. Damn. So after this, Not the dad. they are in the hospital and Light's dad is about to die. So you know what this, this sick, is pathetic master says. Dad, please, before you go, you've got to write his name down. <laughs> is this serious? Come on, old motherfucker. Help me out here, damn it. Do something useful for your son before you oh. die. Oh my God. Get him the right. fuck out of here. Get him the please. Please get him the fuck him out. out of here. Like I can't begin to tell you how pathetic this <laughs> shit was. Your dad is about to die because of your actions, by the way. And you begging this to get somebody's name for your personal gain, sick bastard. And this wasn't even the worst part. Since his dad had the Shinigami eyes, he looked at Light and said, "Oh, Sonny boy, I'm glad to see that you not care because I could see your life." And I could die at peace. This man's dad died not knowing that his son was Kira because he relinquished that yeah. death note. Because the thing mm. was that if you were a user of the death note, a person with Shinigami eyes could not see your lifespan. So his dad died mm. living a lie. Sickening no. shit. And his 
his blood That's is strange. on White's hands. So this man joins <laughs> Doflamingo in the Patricide Club. Now we have come down to our last major victim. And this one was just peak manipulation. So while Kira's influence was growing stronger in the world and Light was out here inciting riots to stop Nier, he needed the right people to spread his message. So the ex-Kira, Teru Mikami, who was basically Light's right-hand man that he personally chose after making Misa relinquish her death note again and losing all of her memories, decided we need a change of management. So this fat nigga, Demigawa, who is the leader of Kira's kingdom and is the spokesperson for this cult decided to stream their Sunday service on TV. So Mikami said, fuck these niggas. So he deletes every single one of these lunatics on live TV. Delete. No. He said, Demi Gaul's fat ass for last. He said, nobody said. Why? Everybody get it. So after Mikami disbanded the Church of Kira, he chose a loyal supporter of Kira to be the next spokesperson. And that was Kiyomi Takada, Light's ex-girlfriend back in college. So you see where this is probably gonna go, right? <laughs> So Light convinced the task force <laughs> that we should use Shorty to get some more leverage on Kira and find out who that is. But obviously, okay. Light had ulterior motives with her. So one night, he meets up with her. So here go this manipulation riz. How you doing, Shorty? You looking as fine as ever. <laughs> and he just had her in the palm of his hand. So he basically told her, look, Shorty. I'm Kira, and I see that my dog has chosen you as my spokesperson, so I'ma make you the goddess of the new world. And she was so ecstatic. She was entrenched in this nigga. And yeah, y'all could probably guess what happened Girl, after this. Now they don't show it, but let's be Run real. Up, like a pipe on her ass. So after Light got done getting his freak on and getting Takata to work with him, he had Shorty basically being another Kira. So he made Mikami make a fake notebook and sent the actual names to Takata, bringing her in oh and God. making her do some damn killing. And she was just dignitized. She had that Jeffrey Dahmer wow. syndrome when Shorty's was just fiending over that nigga for some odd reason. But time right. for shit to get crazy. So one day, Takata ends up getting ran up on and kidnapped by Melo. So a couple hours pass and Melo started trying to interrogate her. Bro pulled out the gun and said, all right, chop, chop. Take off the clothes start and start shaking them booty cheeks. I'm gonna blow your fucking brains out, bitch. Dang. So while she starts stripping, <laughs> she ends up taking a piece of the death note out that she had in her bra. So while Melo's transporting her in the back of this truck, she ends up calling light and she on the phone saying, oh my God, baby, shake my booty cheeks so light said baby <laughs> calm down baby calm down now did you do what i told you to do if you ever got this a situation like this and that is what she did yeah. because she wrote Melo's yeah. name down and killed that nigga. <laughs> but Light being a sick and twisted bastard decided, nah, I'm gonna get as much out of you as I can until your gas tank is empty, bitch. So Light told her on the phone. Ooh. The time yeah. has come. Execute order 66. So he made her call up Mikami and made her tell him, send me as many criminals as you can so I can go on a killing spree. So while she was doing that, Light was just sitting in the car, all Girl, the way to go just... pick her up. And in his head, he just said, man, He's a mess you, know what? Too. you should have never went to that frat right. party without me, bitch. Oh, and it was all over for Shorty. So Light unalive herself, right. burning herself a lot and friend. setting everything on fire. That was a girl. Single piece of evidence. Right. Just like that, that was Light Yagami's final victim. Because the yeah. next day on January 28th, this nigga got Y'all yeah, not gonna lie with the final oh, confrontation wait. with Nier Light got that cooked. Weird. This nigga went out yeah. so sad, bro. Nier read this motherfucker like a book. It was actually fucking hilarious seeing this nigga lose his mind because Mikami utterly failed. So Light tried to pull a fast one, but Matsuda just dumped bullets in his ass. That, that so just no. Mikami just unlocked himself. Nigga committed seppuku mm -hmm. and Light just ran away, but they didn't even bother chasing him. He was done. So Ryuk <laughs> watching over the whole thing was just like, well, I give it to you like you was one entertaining motherfucker, but I need my notebook back. <laughs>
And on January 28th, yeah. 2010, anime's most deadliest serial killer dies of a heart attack. Man, they how died. everything comes full fucking Mother circle, doesn't it, buddy? Full circle? What is say? Full circle, God, damn. everybody, it's time for our final all tally. Now, obviously, keeping kill count in this is literally impossible because there were mad off-screen deaths. And he just wasn't killing criminals. He was killing innocent people, too. And also people with just petty crimes. He probably killed your ass if you got a speeding ticket. Because this motherfucker was just... I, I don't, I don't, I don't, don't know how many families he probably tore apart doing this shit. Yeah, this is oh, shit. Well, like it was one prayer for these families, man. But here's what I we'll do. do if one of y'all can get an actual reasonable number and people actually agree oh with my you, God, and comment, and we'll make shit. that our number. But well, you know what that number gonna be right now? Drum roll, please. A lot. That is what it is. I mean, I ain't nothing. Anyways, man, it's close. And that is another installment of there we go there we go what y'all think about that video? Y'all yeah. was into it. I know y'all was into it. <laughs> yeah. Look, his edit is funny as shit. Like, he is funny as shit. Like, he made it funny. I would never watch anime if it was not for that. For this. Oh, like, because <laughs> like why am why are they so like dark? Like that was some dark ass shit. Like I, I need to take uh, why why I need to take a bath. I listen. I enjoy it though. <laughs> It's like I dark I enjoyed it. Yeah, the fact that he was finding the humor in that shit was <laughs> just. <laughs> See, you I didn't mean, even pay attention to the time because it was that good. You feel me? If it yeah, wasn't, one. you would have been like, I can't watch this. You feel me? Like, it's, it's right, too right. much. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's heavy shit, bro. Um, no thanks. <laughs> She said she ain't watching the actual episode. <laughs> but there we have it, man. Y'all definitely go ahead and follow these beautiful ladies, man. Y'all hit that like, hit that sub, man. We all. Damn. <laughs>